Hey everyone, it's Grape Soda here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a look at gizmo stay on a horizontal axis only. Let's go. Alright, so to get started, you're going to want to get your maker pen. You're going to choose create, go to your palette, go to shapes, and choose the cube. Now, this is going, uh, we're going to attach the look at gizmo to this cube. This is not going to be what we're uh, attaching to the look at. So you're just going to spawn it in. Once you've done that, go to your tools, hit done. You're going to configure it. You're going to want to set it to decoration just to save ink. You're going to want to give it a new tag. It doesn't matter what tag it is, I'll just call it base. Add that tag. Once you've done that, scroll to the very bottom and check can modify with circuits. All right. Once you've done that, you're going to go to your tools. You're going to set snapping to surface. Click create again, go back to your palette, CV1 legacy, scroll to the very bottom. You're going to choose the look at. You're going to attach it to the top of your cube like so. And finally, I'm just going to turn off for now. You're going to go to your circuits. Um, you're going to scroll through circuit components until you find your vector this vector component. You'll spawn it on top. You're going to want to rotate it so it's facing straight up and try to move it on top as well as you possibly can. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it can, you want to get it as good as you can. Once you've done all this, you're going to choose connect and you're going to wire the cube to the base of the look at gizmo. You should see this a wire pop up, and then you're going to wire this pin to the vector gizmo. To make sure you did this correctly, you can just move these out of the way, and you should see these red wires appear in between. Now, what we're going to want to do next is we're going to get some circuitry. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to circuits, search. We're going to get a event receiver. We're going to get a local player. If local player is authority. Set position. local player vector split vector create get position you're going to want to get two of these. Object. You're going to want a get room object, a rec room object, get first with tag. Put it in front of the get position. And. Oh, uh, one more vector split. Once you've got all this, you're going to choose connect, um, and we're going to wire it all together. What we're going to do, we're going to wire the rec room object get first with tag to the first get position, and then the get local player to the second get position. Next, we're going to wire the get positions to their corresponding vector splits. And now here's an important part. The get local player uh, one here, we're going to wire the Y of it to the vector create. Next, we're going to take the object one and wire the X to the X and the Z to the Z. Now, if you see it's displaying error, that's because we didn't give it a object to look for. So let's do that right now. We're going to want to get our base cube we made earlier. So just make it search, Oops. make it search for base, just like that. Once you've done that, you can hook up 
this vector three, the vector create we created, to the position on the set position, and the target will be the base. Let's wire it to the object. We're gonna wire the I'm authority to the set position. And finally, we need to configure this event receiver to uh, be a 30 hertz. Then wire it to the if local player's authority. Now if you'll see, it's following us now. We need to make it so that the look at gizmo looks at us now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create, we're gonna go to our palette, we're gonna ch look up trigger. We're gonna get a trigger volume. Just spawn that in. Next, we're gonna get a add roll. Spawn that in next to it. You're going to want to wire the player entered to the player add roll and the player under the player entered to the local player here. Now we need to make a roll for it. So we're gonna go back to our palette. We're gonna go to CV1 legacy, go into game chips and find a roll chip. Gonna spawn that in. Once you've got that in, you're gonna configure it and name it whatever role you want this to look at. I'm just gonna make it follow. Once you have that role, you're gonna configure the value on the player add role to the role we just made, which is follow. Once you've got this, you're going to tap this, and now you have the role. Now we need to make the look at gizmo look at you. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna configure it, you're gonna set it to player, you're gonna choose role follow, you're gonna choose head, and then you're gonna configure that pin on it to one. Now, if you look now, it's looking at you. The problem, it's not uh, exactly straight because the look at gizmo is above the cube and the, we're trying to keep it as straight as possible. So we're gonna need to move it down a bit. To fix this, we're gonna go back in our maker pin, go back to create our palette, and we're gonna search for a subtract. Once you have the subtract, you're gonna put it above the vector create. Now, we need to unwire the update to stop any errors. We're going to unwire the Y position and rewire it to the subtract. Then uh, wire the difference back to the Y. Now, to fix it, we're just gonna configure this zero to be 0 0.25, just like so. Now we can rewire the event. And now, as you can see, our look at gizmo is nice and straight with our head. All right, so yes, our cube follows it, but we need to make the actual object. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna get, this is where you get the object that you want to stay horizontal. I don't actually have an object I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna spawn in another cube. So I'll just put another cube here. Just like this. And I'm going to recolor it to be yellow just so we can tell them apart. Oh yeah, and um, since you don't want any players to see this red cube, you can just use the manipulate tool to manipulate it into the floor. This will not affect our machine and it'll still work just fine. Just like this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that this uh, only rotates on the horizontal axis and won't look up or down. We're going to configure this uh, our object and we are going to give it a tag. I'm just going to give it the tag rotate. Once you've done that, you're going to enable can modify with circuits. Now, we are going to need to set the rotation of this as well as the position. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a special chip 
called set transform. We're going to put it right here. And we're also going to want to clone the rec room get first with tag. Once you've got those, you're going to configure the value on the second rec room object to look for our new object, rotate. Once you've got that, we're going to wire the object to the target on the set transform. The position is going to be the position we have of this vector create, but we don't want to set it to the same y, so we are just going to use a vector, uh, just a new vector create. We are going to want to get the vector split of the rec room object. So why are the X to the X and the Z to the Z? And you can set the Y to whatever you want. So if you have like, let's say a monster, you can make it so that you set the Y so it is uh, level with the ground. Um, I am not uh, serious about that right now, so I'll just set it to two. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna wire the vector three coming out of the vector create we just made to the position. Oops. And finally, to get the rotation, we're gonna get the vector on our vector component and wire it to the rotation. Now what we can do is we can wire the set transform to the set position. So it sets the transform after it sets the position. And as you can see, it looks at me without going up or down. This is really useful if, like I said earlier, you want to make a monster, but you don't want it to look up or down when it gets close to the player. Alright, so now that we have our whole machine set up, we want to change a very um, interesting issue at the moment. The re Since we used a get local player earlier to get the position and set the correct Y, the issue with that is we can't have multiple people in the room. It can't follow the nearest person. So let's fix that right now. So we're going to configure the look at gizmo. We're going to want to set average to closest. Now, I don't have multiple people in the room right now, but if I were to have multiple people, this would glitch and go crazy. It would look at me, even though it should be looking at, say, like a friend of mine or something. So to fix this, we are going to detach the event receiver for now to make sure it doesn't glitch. We're going to want to delete the get local player. Now, we are going to want to use, to figure out the uh, player now, we are going to want to use a raycast. Don't fret about all the pins. We are not going to use all these. So, what we're going to do is we need a start position and a direction for our raycast. Before we set those, let's just configure the max distance to be infinite because we don't, it's no big deal at the moment. Um, we also want to configure the raycast itself and ignore objects. Okay, so now let's get the start position and direction. What we're going to want to do is clone the get position right in front of it and wire the position to the start position. We're going to want to wire the target of the get position to the vector component itself, not the vector it's outputting. We're going to want to wire the vector it's outputting to the direction. Now, we're going to wire the player output to the target on the get position. And we're going to want to create, we're going to get two chips. And if chip and a is valid chip. this. Now, we're going to wire these as the following. We're going to wire the player to the is valid, the output on the is valid, the boolean, to the if, and we're going to unwire the I'm authority from the set position and rewire it to the if, and then wire the then to the set position. Once you have all this set up, you can rewire the event receiver to the if local player's authority, and as you can see, still works just fine. Now, 
it, it's not going to change how it works right now just because it's still setting the height and fixing it. But if I were to have multiple people in this room and someone were to have the same role and come up to it, it wouldn't glitch for them. It would look at them even for me. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If it helped you out, please remember to like and subscribe. And if there's something you'd like me to show you how to make next, leave your idea in the comments below. Bye.